Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about writing and interpreting exponential functions. And so first we recall from our Basics of Exponential Functions videos, an exponential function of, is of the form y equals a b to the x, where a is the starting value, in other words it's the y-intercept. So if I was asking for the y-intercept of an equation, it's going to be the a value, which remember is just the point zero a. And b is the amount by which y is being multiplied, not divided, which will come into play when we get into these examples, because that's one of the most common areas I see students make a mistake on. Okay, so looking at this first example, it says to write the exponential function represent the following tables, and then we're going to determine whether the table represents an ex exponential growth or exponential decay. So I know that the equation is y equals a times b to the x. So I need to figure out what my a is and what my b is. Well, again, remember that my a value is my y-intercept. And my y-intercept is the point where x is 0. And so I'm going to look at my table and see, OK, where is the point where x is 0? Where I see it's right here. So that means that my a value is going to be 3. My a value is my y-intercept. My y-intercept is the point when x is 0. Now I need to figure out what my b is. So for my b, that is what I'm multiplying by each time. And so one way that you can do this is just to look at it. So for instance, what do I need to multiply to get from 3 to 6? Well, I need to multiply by 2. To get from 6 to 12, I multiply by 2. 1.5 to 3. I multiply by 2. So that means that my b value is 2. If you can't, if you don't notice it right away, which is okay, another way that you can do it is just to take the second number and divide it by the first. And so here I see 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. So I have my a, I have my b, and that means that my exponential function is 3 times 2 to the x. Then it asks whether it's an exponential growth or decay. Well, it's going to be growth if my y values increase exponentially over time, and it's going to be decay if it keeps getting smaller. Well, here I'm going from small to large, so that means that this one is going to be growth. Okay, let's try the next one. So again, my equation is y equals a times b to the x. I want to first find out what my a value is, so I'm looking to see where my y, what my y-intercept is, and I know that's when x is 0, and so I see that my y-intercept here is going to be 4. So that means that my a is equal to 4. Next, I want to figure out what my b value is, so I want to go ahead and see what I need to multiply to get from 8 to 4. Well, some of you may be able to tell me, well, to get from 8 to 4, I need to divide by 2. So you'll put divide by 2 here and say your b is equal to 2. However, that is not correct. As I made a note up here, b is the amount by which y is being multiplied, not divided. And so I have to think if I'm dividing by 2, what am I actually multiplying? Well, you're multiplying by 1 half. But an easier way to do that is to go ahead and take your second number, so 4 divided by 8. Okay, let's change colors. And if I simplify, that's really 1 half. And so my b value is going to be 1 half. To get from 4 to 2, I need to multiply by 1 half. To get from 2 to 1, I multiply by 1 half. So that means that my exponential function is y is equal to my a, which is 4, times my b, 1 half to the x. And now since this one's getting smaller each time, we're multiplying by a fraction. This is going to be decay. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to try that last one. 
So the answer you should have gotten here was y equals 8 times 1 fourth to the x. And this is decay because it's getting smaller. And so when I found my 1 fourth, what you can do is you can go, how do I get from 128 to 32? Well, you're going to take that second number, 32, divided by the first number, 128. And then when you reduce that fraction, you should get 1 fourth. If you don't want to do it with bigger numbers, it might be easier if you go ahead and go with the smaller numbers. So I have 2 divided by 8, divide 2 from top and bottom, and you get 1 fourth.